Okay, welcome back. Uh, here's a update on my heater. I finally got to use it today. Uh, it is now about 2.30, quarter to 3 in the afternoon, but uh, here's the temperature. It's outside right now. It's 29, not quite 30, but it was about 20, about 21 degrees this morning. And, of course, you can see there's a little bit of snow there. We woke up this morning to about an inch of snow, which is the most we've had so far. But the uh, reason why I want to make this video, kind of hopefully somebody else is building these things, kind of a little trial and error that I come across here. My duck work that I've got in here, I uh, come out here today just to see how much this thing was going to be waterproof. Uh, like on before, I, I, I wrapped tape around the end of it, hoping it would kind of seal it off. But up here on the top of my box, because we did have quite a few days where it rained a whole lot, so I'm guessing that uh, I guess when water hit the top of the box, it just kind of run down, and eventually some of that where it wasn't really sealed up that tight might have slowly absorbed some water, and of course right now there's a there's really not a whole lot of water inside it's not it hasn't penetrated the inside sleeve but it's on the insulation I think I'm gonna poke a little hole there might be I don't know guessing maybe about two cups of water in there but uh, I'll get a little hole poked in the bottom there and I'll turn this thing on hopefully I can get that melted and get it out of there and retape it up but as far as the duct itself I don't there's no holes in it that I could see, I just guess it come in from that edge of that ducting up there. So what I done was today, I just put this on here today, kind of hopefully it'll help. Uh, just a piece of flashing I took, and uh, I just took it, stapled it to my box, and I run it all the way across the top and got about a foot overhang on the other side. So now it's probably got about. Uh, maybe eight inches of overhang so so I mean it's overhanging the end of my duck so now hopefully when it rains it'll just go right over top of that and it won't get in my duck no more but uh, I did take some duct tape and I, I should go ahead and do the hole inside of my box uh, I think that's what water for fuel done to his he taped all the edges around his which so far, I mean, it's sealed up pretty good where I've got all my silicone in there, but I better not take any more chances with this. But uh, yeah, I just right there on the edge, I just took tape, went all the way across the top and down on the other side where the flashing comes down over there. So now hopefully, uh, no more water will get in there. The bottom one's fine. It doesn't have any at all because it is way up underneath this box. So I don't really think but it's going to be getting any water to it and I'm pretty sure there's no water getting in up there on that one if so I'll just have to do the same thing I'm thinking about doing it anyway just get me a piece of flashing right there underneath my window seal just kind of overhang it over my duct that way it'll keep it from getting there just in case but I think it's pretty good sealed off <sighs> But yeah, that's one thing I did. It's right along in there. There's some water. It's done froze up down in there. So I'll get this thing running, get that worn back up where it'll melt it, and put me a tiny hole down in there so it'll drain out, then seal it back up, and hopefully that'll take care of it. But if not, I've always got a couple more boxes of duck, so I can fix that easily. I was going to uh, take that off and turn my snap disc down because I do have my snap disc turned all the way up to 130 degrees to kick my motor on automatically. So I think I, I was going to go ahead and do that here about a week ago, but like bad weather and really ain't had much time. So I guess it should be a good idea of me just go ahead and just take it off and just replace it. That way I won't have to worry about poking no holes in it, getting it drained out.
but uh, that'll be later on. Thanks for watching.